The Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental took its first flight in March of 2011. It can carry up to 467 passengers over a range of 8,000 miles. Today I'll be demonstrating the startup procedure for the default 747-8 in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Here we are in the flight deck of the 747. To start off, we're going to press Control 9, which will take us up to the overhead panel. Then we're going to switch the standby power to auto in the middle of the dial. Then we're going to come down to the battery cover, open that, and turn the battery master on. Then you can close the cover again. Then we're going to hit external power 1 and external power 2. Next, come down to the nav light in the lower right hand corner and switch that down into the on position. Next, we're going to focus on the FMS, or Flight Management System. In order to get to the FMS view, press Control 4. Now that we're in the FMS, we're going to hit Position Initialization. Here we're going to put KMKE, or Mitchell International, as our reference airport in this example. Then we're going to grab the GPS position and paste it in the set IRS position. Now we're going to press scroll lock and bring up the ATC menu. Control 2 will center us on the autopilot panel. And then we're going to grab the ATIS. Milwaukee Airport information, Charlie 1700. I'll speed this up a little bit, but what I'm going to be listening for is the altimeter setting. Now in this example, the barometer happened to be set to standard pressure, or 29.92. If you had to change it, this is the knob that you would use. And if you press the middle, you can change it to standard pressure if you're above 18,000 feet. Next, we'll go back to the ATC menu and request our IFR clearance. Clearance delivery 131 Tango Bravo ready to copy IFR clearance to Tampa. 131 Tango Bravo is cleared to Tampa Airport as filed. Now we're going to set our altitude Takeoff to 12,000 feet. Line and maintain 12,000 feet. Departure frequency is 135.875 squawk 1756. Then if we press control 7, that brings us down to the view to input our squawk code. Then we're going to switch Tango the knob Bravo over to, to TA slash RA. Takeoff runway 25 left climb and maintain 12,000 feet. Now we'll go back to the autopilot panel and turn the flight director on. And then we're going to adjust our selected airspeed. Now we'll press control 9 and we'll go back up to the overhead panel. We're going to take the APU knob and turn it all the way to the right to start, hold it for a second, and release. APU Gen 1 and 2 will light up as available. We'll go ahead and select both of those. It will take a little bit longer than what was shown in this video, I sped it up a little bit. And then you can see that external power 1 and 2 both automatically disconnected. Now that the APU is up and running, we can start up the engines. Before we start up the engines, we're going to go down to the lower right hand corner and set both beacons to the on position. Then we will turn on both fuel pumps, forward and aft, for engine 4. And we will set the starter to on. We're going to watch the center screen here. When N1 equals 0.2, we'll jump down and flip up the engine 4 fuel valve into the run position. Now on the far left of your screen, you can see that engine 4 is starting up. That catering truck is a little bit close. Once N1 stabilizes, we'll go up to the overhead panel and start the same process for engine 3. First we'll turn on the fuel pumps, set the starter to on, wait for 0.2, there it is, flip up the fuel valve to run, 
and now engine three is starting up. Continue the same startup procedure for both engines two, and lastly, engine one. And our final step will be to go back up to the overhead panel and switch the APU to off. Congratulations, you've started up the 747-8. Let me know in the comments below if this video helped you out. Let me know if you have any ideas for future tutorials. See you next time.